In this presentation, you will learn more about the properties on fetal stem cells and how they can repair, replace, and regenerate tissues and organs in your body and halt and reverse disease processes. First, I'm going to address the most common misunderstandings about fetal stem cells. First most common fallacy is all stem cells have antigenicity and require matching and immunosuppressive drugs. The fact is fetal stem cells have a property called immune privilege. Any fetal stem cell can be given to any patient without matching the use of immunosuppressive drugs or the fear of graft versus host disease. The second most common fallacy, fetal stem cells cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. The proof that the fetal stem cells do cross the blood-brain barrier lies in the thousands of patients with neurological issues such as Parkinson's disease, brain damage, and other similar diseases who have been treated with fetal neuronal cells and have shown marked improvement. Also, the multiple sclerosis patients who have had follow-up MRIs report a diminution of the lesions on the myelin sheathing of their nerves, the primary issue in this disease. The American Heart Association's circulation research has proven that fetal stem cells can travel from the fetus to the mother. Fetal stem cells can actually repair the mother's heart. Researchers have discovered cells containing Y chromosomes, or the male cells, in the hearts of women who had given birth to boys. The third most common fallacy, fetal stem cells can cause cancer. There is a frequent confusion linking embryonic stem cells together with fetal stem cells. It is only the cells of the embryo, called the blastocyst, that have the capacity to form a tumor called a teratoma. These are not used in the treatments offered. Not only have fetal stem cells not produced any tumors, but they are administered therapeutically to cancer patients. Five-day-old blastocysts are totipotent. We do not use these cells. Fetal stem cells are pluripotent, and they are the source of hematopoietic and neuronal cells. Umbilical cord blood contains a hematopoietic and an insignificant number of neuronal cells, not enough for therapeutic purposes. Fetal stem cell origin and safety. The fetal stem cells are obtained from Eastern Europe from terminated pregnancies, eight to 12 weeks gestation. The cells must pass 15 criteria, including tests for viral, bacterial, fungal infections, as well as viability. Advanced PCR DNA testing is also used. The cells are retested in a prestigious laboratory in Germany and preserved in liquid nitrogen. Another extremely important and significant difference between fetal stem cells and all other types of stem cells is that pristine neuronal stem cells can be isolated from the brain tissue of the fetus. This is the best source of pure, pristine neuronal, which is brain and nerve, stem cells. Fetal stem cells not only replace and rebuild damaged tissue, they also support the activity of your native immune system. They release trophic or growth substances called cytokines, which stimulate dormant cells and speed up the repair of cells, tissues, and organs. Waking up these dormant tissues and cells is a very important role of the cytokines in fetal stem cell therapy. Their effect, in some cases, can be almost immediate, restoring measurable function even within hours of administration. Fetal stem cells and anti-aging. As we age, our stem cells lose length of their telomeres, lessening the protective or anti-aging property of the telomere on the chromosome. When the telomeres shorten, then the cells do not replicate perfectly. This is the definition of aging on a cellular level. Fetal stem cells have maximum length telomeres and full amounts of telomerase, which is an enzyme. Fetal stem cells increase mental capacity and boost the immune system, according to some studies, 10 times more than the normal immune system. Some of the longevity patients are highly successful, creative, driven entertainment professionals who, as they've aged, feel like they have hit a creative wall. Invariably, after receiving treatment, they report that their creativity and problem-solving abilities are enhanced, they feel calmer, less prone to distraction, and state that they feel like they haven't been as productive in years. Fetal stem cells and cancer. The biggest benefit is a new, stronger, healthier immune system. The cells stimulate the patient's own stem cells to fight the cancer and significantly reduces or eliminates the side effects of traditional cancer treatments, allowing for stronger doses of chemotherapy. Cells can be administered as often as necessary to help ensure recovery. Imagine a world in which many chronic degenerative diseases can be safely and successfully treated using a new medical procedure that harnesses the intelligence of creation itself. Imagine a treatment that produces new cells and repairs damaged ones, thereby restoring the human body, a therapy that produces these results. An autistic child, formerly isolated because of uncontrollable violent behavior, attends a regular school and is better behaved than his normal siblings. 
A four-year-old boy with muscular dystrophy who has difficulty walking easily climbs up 30 stairs the day after his treatment. Longevity patients experience strengthening of the immune system, resulting in longer life, marked decrease in the chances of contracting many diseases, including cancer, and significantly increased mental clarity and physical energy. A patient with Parkinson's disease shows marked improvements in gait, voice, balance, tremors, stiffness, and facial expression. A child with cerebral palsy who had slurred speech, spasticity, and very limited cognition achieves significant improvement. An infertile woman becomes pregnant after all other efforts available from modern medicine fail. Symptoms of epilepsy are greatly decreased in a child who suffered 30 to 40 seizures a day. A multiple sclerosis patient finds relief not only from her symptoms, but the lesions or scars in her brain begin to disappear. Two and a half years after suffering a stroke, a patient improves in speech and vision. A young child with Down syndrome is transformed into one with a normal physical appearance and increased intelligence. A 12-year-old child who suffers daily migraine headaches with intense pain and vomiting becomes pain-free. A patient with untreatable cancer is able to withstand a very strong dose of chemotherapy because his immune system has been boosted. That future and these results are here now at Stem Cell of America. As antibiotics changed the medical paradigm of 20th century medicine, now in the 21st century, fetal stem cells are the new revolution in medical care. For more information, visit our website, www.stemcellofamerica.com.